Good morning. I have good news for you. Two days ago, Erica Anderson was found safe, and she's the young lady I brought to you out of Clarksville, Texas. We still have Kishon Williams, otherwise nicknamed Key. He's 15 years old, missing since June 17, 2023, out of Cleveland, Ohio, and if you have any information, you can contact Cleveland Police at 216-623-5400. We also have Tamara and Iris Perez, 15 and 13. They are sisters. They've been missing since June 28th, and if you have any information on their whereabouts, you can Contact Ross Common County Sheriff's Office at 989-275-5101. We did find out that Tamara and Iris's case has now been taken over by the FBI, but you can the t- the tip line is still the sheriff's office. The FBI is looking into this because these girls have been gone now a month, and. They are part of an adoption situation, meaning they're originally from Florida. Their parents lost their rights to these girls fairly recently, and the girls were adopted and came to Michigan to live. I'd like to remind us that today is the day that Michael Monkey Vaughn was reported missing in 2021, just, you know, five weeks and a day after Summer Wells. But this isn't about Summer Wells. This is about Michael. I'm not going to pretend at this late date to be able to give you a comprehensive understanding of this case. For that, Michelle, after dark, did a live this morning where she talked with her audience about the various factors in this case. Michelle was very thorough about the types of information she presented. As you can see up on the screen, that quote is from 2021. Just to refresh our memory on what they believed back then, and sadly, two years later, We now know that not only was Michael abducted, but he is probably not with us anymore. I have no reason to believe that Brandy Neal will ever see this broadcast. But if she does, Brandy, I owe you an apology. I was very sick in 2021 in the summertime, and it took me a long time to recover. I really, as soon as I saw your son was missing, I thought, oh, I should try and always pay attention to that case as well. And like many YouTube creators, I kept getting distracted by the ever-growing body of information that had nothing to do with Summer's case, but had everything to do with everything else. And your son got ignored. So please accept my apology. And also a further apology for the one opportunity that I had to speak with you directly. I was too distracted by a very busy chat, as were all the mods. Nobody even greeted you. So personally, I'd like to say I'm sorry for not greeting you and treating you with the deference you deserve as the mother of a missing child. I promise to you now that I will try very, very hard to never treat a parent of a missing child like that again. And as my reminder, I'm going to put up a picture of you and Monkey smiling in better days And that will hopefully help me to remember that parents of missing children, apart from any other thing in their lives, have had their hearts damaged. And I know a little bit about a hurting heart.
If the rest of us out and about today visiting various creators on YouTube happen to run into Brandy Neal in chat, please be courteous to her. Please take the, you know, two or three seconds it takes to type out, hi, I hope you're well, and do that. Let her know that people genuinely do care. That's all I have for you this morning. I may put out another short, but until then, God bless you, and I will see you real soon.